I always wanted a um, end curse interface for the locate command and I tried to look around but there's really none in existence so I came up with my own way to do this uh, with existing tools so I'll show you that right here um, well you still have to know how to use the locate command which uh, I talked about a long time ago if you don't know how to use it just watch my old videos uh, I'll post you a link in the description okay but uh, to recap here we did was um, locate and we did uh, dash IR for case insensitive and regular expressions so let's say we search for um, on my system wallpaper right and basically they give you a list of um, files on your system the thing is when you want to open them it's a uh, really inconvenient you would have to like um, for example you know don't click on this copy the, the link and all that and you do like xdg open and then you paste back in the path there and then you would open it and that's how you open it you see and you have to do that for um, every file that you want to open let's say uh, this other one here what is this one here right and then you have to do that kind of annoying so the way around this is I figured out you can actually use vim and you can pipe out the results so I'm giving you an example let's use um, this one again but we just pipe into vim and I like to use the dash r for read only and at the end you have to put a dash also and that's it you hit enter and instead of the results um, you know I'll put it on your terminal you just, I'll put it into uh, vim here now the good thing with vim is that you can actually execute commands um, that they have in you know that you can do with in your vim rc and stuff like that so for example if I want to open uh, the path to this first line here line one here right I, I have my function set up to uh, my hotkey which is f8 so I've hit f8 and it opens it with uh, xdg open and it uses um, you know your default file uh, manager here and again, this can apply to any files that has a default uh, program associated with it like the, for example number three here right this one is a JPEG so obviously it's going to open it with your um, what is that your image viewer so hit F8 and there you go opens with that um, not an issue so that's how we did it with uh, the locate command and last time we did in that video we had this uh, function called discover right so this one is using vim so I call this uh, v discover um, and you can do the same thing like for example we search for wallpaper keep here and basically it searches for it outputs it to uh, or pipes it into a vim here and we have our results and here you can see that it has um, images and the folders here so line one this is the folder if I want to open it I just hit uh, F8 on that line and it opens it real quick uh, even if it has spaces it's not gonna matter like this one it has spaces um, right here right not an issue F8 it will open that sucker if we have anything else oh yeah line 11 so you did 11 GG to jump to this line here and it's a PNG file not an issue either it opens that sucker there is some issues with uh, XDG uh, open it doesn't recognize um, you know files with um, uh, it was at the percent sign here so not everything works like this percent sign you can see an example but that's a problem with uh, XDG itself not uh, anything else uh, you know like Vim or anything so be aware of that and anything else so I'm going to show you some other examples that you can do like regular expression stuff, right? So with vDiscover, instead of just typing like regular strings that we did before, right? We can actually do uh, regular expressions. So you can do vDiscover. And when you're using regular expressions in the terminal, you have to use uh, either double quotes or single quotes. So we're going to use single quotes here. And let's say we search for um, Naruto uh, that I have in my system. And we want to search for 
let's say we want to search for uh, CBR or CBZ I me mean, CBR and also EPUBs okay so these are just mangoes that I have in my system and I want to end in that extension so I'm going to use the dollar sign and close it with the um, what is that uh, single quotes and basically this one will give us our results and you can see that it will give us um, all the things that has Naruto in it right so you see it has a string Naruto and at the end you can see that it has CBZs and EPUBs and what is this other one like CBRs here right and if you want to open it not a problem all you gotta go is go to that line let's say we go to the CBZ line here right and if I want to open this one uh, just hit F8 and it should load up with my uh, uh, it was an M comics program here and I can read it so not an issue so that's how I do it with regular expressions and here's another example for regular expressions um, so that one we did it for uh, this one here but uh, if you want to change it to have like multiple strings for example we do this one and we'll do we want to search for Naruto and or not or I mean not and but uh, we use or the pipe science means or and this other one I was uh, watching is called Shingeki I believe there you go so we search for two strings uh, one or the other one and also like we want the format to be you know MKVs or um, AVIs and we'll end it with uh, we want it to end with those extensions only so that's why I have a dollar sign there right so this is regular expressions hopefully you know that and then you hit enter and now I should find Naruto or Shingeki which I think uh, well the, the full name of this is Shingeki Kojin no Kojin uh, the English translation was that uh, Attack on Titans pretty cool anime anyways you can see that it finds Naruto right the string Naruto or uh, Shingeki and the extensions that we wanted to uh, find was MKV or um, AVI files and it does that and here's our results so if I wanted to watch uh, you know one of this anime or whatever I hit F8 and it opens with uh, my default player which is M player and if it's Naruto here I hit F8 opens it with uh, Naruto right so that's that um, pretty much it for how you would use it now as far as um, how you would set this up obviously you need vim and you don't actually need to locate command if you don't want to use it you can actually use it with other commands too like ls let me give you another example here if I use it with ls uh, I can do ls pipe into vim I like to use a dash r like I said um, and you see I'll see you know your results here and these are mini files I can hit f8 opens with uh, VLC which is my player for that if it's a text file like uh, line 21 G here like this line here it's a text file I can hit F8 on this one and there you go it opens with uh, you know default text editor um, so on so forth for different you know extensions so you can use LS you can use fine uh, but I mainly use it with the locate command right anyways let's get to how you set this up so like I said you need the vim so uh, install vim and you need to put this into your vimrc here so open up your vimrc and I actually created this function this is my first function for this but um, I googled around and finally figured it out so basically this is the function I call it open current line basically what I'll do is get the current line right and um, Uh, the next one here it gets the current line and it, it um, has quotes well it'll put quotes in the, the front and the end of it and this is to prevent spaces from uh, you know fucking up um, XDG open when it tries to open it um, so that's that like you know spaces or what was that brackets or uh, curly brackets or whatever it is it's gonna um, bypass those because it has quotes now and right here, this one it executes um, 
XDG open. If you don't want to use XDG open, you can use some other ones like uh, they have like GNOME open or uh, I think XFC open or KDE open or whatever it is. That's fine too if you want to use those. Um, and then we send it to dev null because we don't want to see any message. And this one is to um, break it off from the terminal. And at the end here, uh, we map it to a hotkey. I use F8, but you can use any other key you want. Some people like to use the leader key, so you can do like leader, um, maybe leader O or something like that, right, to open it. If you know what the leader key is, it's basically um, you use slash, that's the leader key by default, and O. So if you want to use leader key and O, that's what you have to uh, hit, right? So slash and O. But I like using F8, like I said, so that's what we have here. And as far as the function, uh, V discover, you see here, V discover. This is basically the same one I talked about in the old video. But the only difference is that, um, you know, it has a pipe uh, to Vim and like I said, like to read only. And uh, at the end, they have a dash at the end here. So that's the only difference. All these other ones are basically um, what did we use before. So if there's a space, it'll replace it with a dot star. If there's a pipe sign, it'll um, escape the pipe sign with the slash pipe. So when you type in the terminal, you know, that's what you have to do. And same thing with parentheses, um, it'll use the escapes uh, for it. So that's what it does there for the set um, options up top here. Anyways, that's how you would do that, and I really like it. You know, I can uh, just search something, uh, and Vim is the end curse interface. I still would like a program, uh, a front end for, um, you know, the locate command in an end curse interface. But as far as I can tell, there is no program, and that is my solution around that, just using Vim. Um, so check it out if you like what you saw. That'll be it for this one.